I investigate how machine learning models can be used to detect malignant tissues in medical images. In order to uh, detect a tumor, usually a biopsy is placed under a digital microscope. And this leads to a medical scan of about 100,000 by 200,000 pixels. And for a pathologist, this is very much like looking for a needle in a haystack. So we can train machine learning models on terabytes of medical data, and we can use those models to detect malignant tissue. More and more scientists are using machine learning for their research and are training computer models to perform intelligent tasks. Artificial intelligence can accelerate or improve research, and it can even make completely new kinds of science possible. As we've seen, the computer is good at classifying images and in that way helps medical research. But is artificial intelligence useful in other scientific fields as well? My research is about language. Um, more specifically, I investigate the structures in natural language and I do that using artificial neural networks. Neural networks are very useful for researchers of a variety of scientific domains. Especially if you need a lot of data, neural networks can consume that very easily. If you have a lot of books, for instance, as a human, you cannot read all the books in a library, but a neural network can. So, every scientific field can benefit from artificial intelligence. Other examples include researching DNA structures, analyzing archaeological objects, or simulating earthquakes. Nadia Matui works at the Amsterdam School of Communication Research. Her research focuses on the phenomenon of deep fakes, a video technology that can be used to attack politicians or spread disinformation. For a first experiment, we tried to create a deep fake video of a Dutch politician in order to study the impacts of this kind of disinformation on uh, political attitudes in the Netherlands. But we had a hard time um, doing that, mainly because the virtual machines we used were not powerful enough to, um, to allow us to, to, to create this kind of videos. Machine learning applications require a lot of computing power, more than a single workstation or even a local cluster can offer. So, where to find this computing power? The Lisa Compute Cluster at SURF has a large subcluster containing graphics processing units, or GPUs. These are specifically suited to machine learning. If I were to train my model on a traditional CPU computer, this would take months of training time. Now, if I have access to a GPU cluster, this would just take me a couple of hours. Researchers in my field are interested in GPU technologies. However, the expertise is missing and the barriers are quite high. So I was very happy when, when I learned that SURF was offering training and support. Yeah, I'm looking forward to exploring these new possibilities. Applying for computer time on the Lisa GPU cluster is simple. Find out now how you can boost your research.